hello again and welcome back to our channel today I will be making a nachos for the topping I will be adding a mango salsa also I will be making two dips I'll be making a dip with hummus and I'll be making a guacamole dip with some avocados so the ingredients I have here I have the hummus which I will be mixing with some red blended jalapeno peppers I have my avocados here I have a mango here and a lemon also I have some ready-made tortilla also here I have a mixture of red green and yellow bell peppers or sweet peppers I also have some onion uh, that's red onion I'll also be having some jalapenos this is red jalapeno which I have blended out so it's liquefied here I also have some lemon juice here we have some jalapeno peppers green ones here I have some mangoes which I have peeled and chopped I also have some fresh parsley now the first thing I'm going to do is to cut my red peppers in quarters and then I'm going to be chopping them in my little hand chopper so just the reason for cutting them in quarters is just to have good consistency with the chop so see uh, nice pieces so I'll put them all in the hand chopper so now that the peppers are all in here I'm going to be covering my hand chopper and giving it just a couple of pulls so so now you can see what the peppers look like now that they are finished chopping in the hand chopper so that's the peppers nicely chopped in the hand chopper because I'm going to be using this to make the mango salsa as I am going to be using the mangoes and mixing it with the peppers I'll just chop the mangoes just in the same container without having to even rinse it so I'll be adding the mangoes Oops. Here are my mangoes which I've already peeled and chopped in small pieces so I'll just add them to the chopper. So the mangoes are softer than the peppers so I'll only give this a couple of pulls, much less than I did with the peppers. So here we go. So now you can see what the mango look like. Here is the mango. I'll be just pouring it out of the little chopper here. And mind you, the mangoes might have a little bit of the peppers in there because some of the peppers was left in there. But it's okay because I'm going to be combining the peppers and the mango to make the mango salsa anyway. So here we have the mangoes, nicely, finely chopped, ready for the salsa. So there we go, a couple of rinses just with pure water and I'm ready to add some more stuff to this to chop now i'm going to be chopping the red onion and all i'm doing to this is to cut it in quarters too there we have it so now i'm gonna give that a couple of pulls and i'll show you what it looks like Now I have finished chopping the onions and if you look you can see how finely chopped that is. So that's the red onion, nicely chopped and I'll be using some of this red onion to make a avocado dip. Now I am going to be making the avocado dip, I'm going to be using the chopper. As I have just chopped in the onions and I will be using onions so I'll go straight into making the avocado dip. For the avocado dip I'm going to be adding 
uh, maybe a tablespoon of the red onion. So I'll just scrape some of the red onion back in here. Now I'm going to be adding my avocados. So fingers crossed my avocados are good. And they are beautiful. Scraping that out with a spoon. Just inside the hand chopper. Now I'll just use the spoon to cut it up a little bit. Because it does help. So that's my avocado. Get the seed out. To the avocado I will be adding some lemon juice. So I'm adding maybe two of these little tablespoons. Or I should say three. Also to the avocado I'm going to be adding some garlic which I had chopped earlier in the hand chopper. So this is some fresh garlic. Which I had used the hand chopper to chop. You see how finely chopped that is. That's how beautiful this little machine is. But remember, if you'd like one of these little hand chopper here, they are the boss in your kitchen. You can always find the link in the description box. So I'm going to be adding one of these little teaspoon of the finely chopped fresh garlic. Oh, they had in just a squirt of Himalayan salt. Not too much, but I like a little salt in my avocado, always. So, two little squirt. So now I'm going to be using my same little hand chopper to just chop this avocado. A couple of pulls. So let me show you what the texture look like. Look at that. Now I'm going to be adding in some of the mixed sweet peppers to the dip. Just taking, leave the rest for my mango salsa. So, a couple more pulls just to blend the peppers in there. And my avocado dip is done. So, there you have it. Beautiful avocado dip. Amazing, isn't it? So here I have my hand chopper ready again. All I did was to just rinse it off with some warm water. And it's ready. So now I'm going to be chopping my parsley. So here's my fresh parsley and I'm going to be chopping this finely in my little gadget here. So just to prep this for chopping, I will be slicing it in pieces. You notice I'm just slicing it inside the chopper. Once I'm finished slicing these, I'll just use a little chopper here to work magic. So that's the parsley in the unchopper. I will now cover it and chop it finely. A couple of pulls. And I also like to use something to just Push everything back down in there because it tend to go up to the corners. So I'll just push that back down in there. So here we have it. That's the finely chopped parsley. So I'll put that back in here. Just look at the parsley in here. I tell you, this little hand chopper in the kitchen is magic. There we go, rings and ready to chop the jalapeno peppers. So here are the jalapeno peppers and it's now going in into the magic. So lock that and pour. Look at the jalapeno peppers in here, nicely chopped. So. I'll put my jalapeno peppers back in here. Jalapeno peppers, just beautiful. So now I'm going to be 
making the mango salsa and I'm going to be combining a couple of these ingredients in this bowl to make the mango salsa so in here I'm first going to add my peppers now I'm going to be adding my mango which I had chopped earlier in the hand chopper to this I'm going to be adding some red onions this was chopped in the hand chopper too so I'll add that's the half of onion so I'm adding I'm adding all of it that's my parsley which I had finally chopped too in the hand chopper so I'll add uh, two to three of these teaspoons full of the parsley to that I'm going to be adding my lemon juice so it's all going in there now that I've added all the fruits and veg that I have chopped earlier in here, I'm going to combine them now to make the mango salsa. So I'm just going to be giving them a little stir in here. So there we have the beautiful mango salsa that will be going on top of my nachos. So that's the hummus. Now I will be adding some of this red blended jalapeno peppers to the hummus. So I've added one tablespoon so far, so second tablespoon, three tablespoons, and a little bit more for good flavor. So I'll be mixing that in here. Show you that while I mix it and once this is mixed out and blended into the hummus it's just the most beautiful flavor and taste for your hummus so if you want to add flavor and taste to your hummus just blend some red jalapeno peppers add it to your hummus and it's the perfect dip for anything I love it with carrot sticks I love it with nachos so look at that, that's the hummus with the red blended jalapeno peppers. So now we're going to be making the nachos. And I have my tortilla chips here. This is just from our local supermarket. will be now decorating my nachos I'll now add some of the jalapeno peppers to that so jalapeno peppers going on So here we have a nachos served with avocado dip and hummus dip and all the toppings here is just a mango salsa and some jalapeno peppers beautiful so there we have it guys my nachos is finished and it's just topped with mango salsa and jalapeno peppers and the dips are a avocado dip and a hummus dip suitable for vegans and vegetarians it's just the most amazing matches you can ever have no meat nothing served on here with a head eye or ears on it so the taste is absolutely amazing